Hi, this is JP from Not Alive Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough. And this time we are continuing the Arkham Horror LCG fan made scenario by the Beard, uh, Alice in Wonderland. And we are in the third scenario, Sibling Rivalry. We had uh, three experience after the last scenario, but in the interlude, the Lion and the Unicorn, we got one more experience, which uh, resulted us in getting this Bane into our encounter deck. And uh, I'll talk about that more when we hit that, if we pull that from the encounter deck. Then also we had to take one uh, basic madness weakness uh, from our pool at random and we got hypochondria. So those are added to the decks. And uh, yeah, um, let's first hop over to arkhamcdb.com and see what upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and um, with the poor experience I had, I upgraded uh, my leather coats to stylish coats. So uh, they cost two experience, uh, one experience and two resources. And uh, when you gain one or more resources during your turn via another player card effect, exhaust stylish coat, gain one additional resource. So those help me to play the black market stuff or the underworld market stuff uh, better, so I have more resources. And um, the other change I did to the deck was to add a second copy of Dirty Fighting to have two at hand if I need to and get one out faster. And to make room for that I removed one Scoffner's catalog because it seems I haven't needed that uh, so far, so I think those are redundant in this deck. But that is all of the changes to the deck, so let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and uh, we have set up the scenario here, so first off let's read the um, story text. So uh, we are at scenario 1e, sibling rival, uh, rivalry. The places in Wonderland where the fields and trees meet tend to spark the greatest suspicion in you. The, the illusion of safety in the wide plains make the darkness, uh, darkened forests look all the more sinister. Shadows flit around every fallen log and bed, uh, bed, and bed of moss, making each step forward a nervous one. Where will Grant Naga's hungry minions strike from this time? As if to answer your question, a pair uh, a pair of dark claws extend from a rotten stump, but before you can beat them back, a shaking sound echoes from within the woods and the uh, shadows retreat. Curiosity strikes you as at the swift result, and you head a little deeper into the woods to find the source of the noise. Even after when you've seen uh, what you've seen in Wonderland, the sight that Reads you seems uh, far-fetched. Two rotund uh, figures of intermediate age stand in a clearing, fighting back and forth over a small object. It takes a moment of observation before it occurs to you that the two look exactly like Tweedledum and Tweedledee from the old nursery rhyme. They are currently tussling with each other over a toy rattle, which you quickly identify as the source of the strange noise from before. You look to the edge of the clearing and confirm that each will shake. Uh, each wild shake of the rattle causes the creeping shadow to shrink away. Strange as it seems, it may help you help your mission to get the rattle. You step closer to the two and try to interject, but the twins look to you uh, indignantly. It's rude to interrupt. Twiddledee snaps at you with a sneer. Contrary. It's polite to say nothing at all, Twiddledum chimes in. They ignore your attempts at reasoning and bargaining as they return to their tug of war. It's my rattle and I shan't let you take it, Twiddledum grunts at his brother. You've had it. Uh, you've had your fun. It's my turn now, Twiddledee spits back. The two pull on the rattle until a wooden crack echoes out and each collapses back with half of it. You broke it, Tweedledum cries out. 
though his brother shakes his head and sneers. Didn't the pair storms off before you can intervene or mediate shouting threats of war at each other. You sigh in irritation. At first you consider you just snatching the pieces of the rattle away from them, but you plan your plan is quickly stiffed by the sudden appearance of two massive armies of figures. One battalion is made of living playing cards, and the other of living chess pieces. It's siding with one of the Tweedles, who are busy strapping uh, household objects to themselves for protection. The Cheshire Cat appears between you with the same telltale grin, but a roll of his eyes. Twiddledum and Twilly agreed to have a battle. Surely you know the rest. It purrs at the combatant as the combatants take places across a small wooden valley from each other. Once again, you've been caught up in a nonsense of Wonderland's strange citizens. Still, it's if at all possible, you've got to get your hands on that rattle. Okay, well, that's the story. So uh, we have set up the scenario here, and. Uh, uh, don't mind the connection, because I only have a uh, limited amount of one-way connections, so a lot of the connections here are one uh, direction. So these bullets are basically uh, the direction you can move from uh, here. So from here, the overgrown dell, I can move to these four locations, and these are connected. But uh, you can basically do a roundabout from here to here and here to here and uh, we start with one um, uh, soldier in play and it can't be a pawn so we put that one there and then we have Twiddledum and Twiddledee here and that is the scenario set up we have the Cheshire Cat here and we still need to shuffle this into the encounter deck so um, that is the story text, so <clears throat> we are pretty much ready to begin, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so we are basically set up. I'll just read the agenda and act cards. Brother against brother. Acting on the twiddle uh, Tweedle's orders, the cards and chess pieces clash with each other on every available point in the small wooden valley. At the rate this battle is escalating, the soldiers might actually kill one of the Tweedles before you can get the rattle forced. When a card enemy is defeated, place one damage token on the scenario card from the token bank. Forced. When a chess enemy is defeated, place one horror token onto the scenario card from the token bank. And there is a tree doom threshold. Then, Act 1A, uh, thinning the ranks. To end the politeness, uh, uh, to end the pointless war between Tweedledum and Tweedledee and get that rattle, you're going to have to be creative, especially if you don't want to just kill one of them. Unfortunately, the massive amount of cards and chess pieces recruited by the Tweedles are bogging down any plans you've devised. Objective if there are no enemies in play advance. So we need to get rid of that uh, card enemy uh, some way. And uh, so uh, so we have Tweedledum here. There are some text on these guys, but I'll get to that when I get to them. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So we are ready to start. So I'll draw my opening hand. So we get track shoes, lone wolf, Austrian bargain, another track shoes, which I'll mulligan and breaking and entering. Um, I think I don't need that. I'll redraw uh, these three. So when this amulet, a looking glass book. Well, okay, we'll go with those. And then, uh, we have the 
underworld market deck here so at the start of my turn i can review two and buy one if i want to so let's see what we get there so at the start of my turn we get fence and pickpocket getting so i'm buying the fence with one resource and this goes to the bottom of this deck okay um i think i'm trying to set up here first so first action we will play lone wolf then um, i will play fence and uh, don't have any other illicit cards in hand yet, but we'll play Faustian Bargain, so we have more resources for next round. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, I received a, a mental trauma last uh, at the end of the last game because I was defeated by horror. So uh, we play Faustian Bargain, so we add two curse tokens to the Chaos Pack. And that is my whole turn. Uh, no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. So we draw resourceful. We gain a resource. Uh, we'll put one resource on lone wolf for next round. And ready our card. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. The first encounter card is a card guard diamonds. Two fight, three health, and three evade. Wonderland Humanoid Card Soldier Post. After Guard car, Guard Diamonds attacks you, choose and discard a card from your hands with at least one um, uh, agility icon if you cannot take one damage. Um, I'll place it over here. And that is that. Uh, the Underworld Market cards are 25 automatic times 2. Well, I'll buy one of them, uh, as I only can buy one. So I'll pay for that, I'll get my lone wolf box, and first, well, I am going to use fence to play the automatic fast, paying four. And I think I need to go and pick a fight with the card guards. So, first, a uh, real action is to play. Uh, let's play the track shoes. No, I, uh, I don't have resources. Okay. Do I want to play the looking glass book? Uh, it gives me boosts to. Willpower and that actually helps me to get clues. That could help. So let's see. Uh, overgrown Dell. So there's an action if there are at least two uh, total uh, tokens on the scenario card. Just uh, willpower or intellect four. If you succeed you in, in your camp lock under fragments of Alice record reason. So I think we want to do that at some point. Uh, I don't see uh, any rush to get clues here, but mm, yeah, I'm I'm saving my resources at the moment. Okay, well, uh, we'll move to the northeast slope. Uh, two shroud, one clue. If there are, uh, are at least two more horror tokens than damage tokens on the scenario card, you cannot investigate north, uh, northeast slope. Okay. Uh, well, this engages me. And
Okay, what did I play? Yeah, that's actually... I didn't play anything this round, except the automatic fast. So, first action was to move, second action... Yeah, I didn't play the track shift, that's the mistake there. So, I'm uh, evading the card guard, and uh, I am evading 4 versus 3. I'll go 6 versus 3. Curse token. Okay, so I'm uh, 4 versus 3 again. Minus 1. So we get one curse out and succeed. So this guy is evaded. And uh, last action, I'm actually shooting it. And I'll commit uh, resourceful to get the boost to my combat. So I'm uh, combat 4 against 3. And uh, yeah, so uh, the icons, uh, which I forgot to say, was that the skull is minus 1, minus 3. Instead, if there are at least one total tokens on the scenario card and uh, cultist and tablets are minus 2 minus 4 instead if there are not are not an equal number of damage and horror tokens of the scenario card and elder thing is minus 2 if you fail place one to damage token and one horror token on the scenario reference card okay so I am one up and it is a minus four, so we fail. Well, that is that, so... Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep, this guy readies into its success again. We draw Lucky, which we really ne would have needed there. Well, it wouldn't have helped. And uh, we gain a resource. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, and come to card is Weak Hand. Test Willpower 3. This test gets plus 1 difficulty and peril if there is a card enemy at your location. For each point you fail by, take 1 horror or choose and discard a card from your hand. Well... Uh, I am 4 versus 4. I'll go 5 versus 4. Minus two, so I fail by one. So the Cheshire Cat actually uh, helps me. So I automatically succeed, and I'll flip the Cheshire Cat. So that is that first action. Well, uh, first we'll look at the cards here, and I'll buy the Dirty Fighting. And I'll get the Lone Wolf box. This goes underneath. And uh, uh, I'll play the Dirty Fighting fast. First action will evade this card guard. I am uh, 3 versus. Uh, I mean 4 versus 3. Minus 2. And uh, if I lucky this, I'll succeed by exactly one, so we will automatically fail instead, so there's no point. I'll try to evade again. Four versus three. It is the elder sign, it is a zero, so we succeed. Then we'll use Dirty Fighting to get a plus 2 attack, then we'll shoot as our last action. So we are 5 versus 3. Uh, we are 3 versus 3. We are getting all the curses now. And it is a minus 1, but yeah, we miss again. So. We're really getting unlucky here, but it is what it is, so 
will ready up. This readies. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom so the agenda advances. And this is the only agenda here. So, hit for hot. With the slight shifting of the flow of combat, one of the soldiers gets an opportunity to storm the opposing hill and attack the dismayed twin on it. Count the damage and horror tokens on the scenario card and resolve the following. If there are more damage tokens, there aren't. If there are more horror tokens, there aren't. Otherwise, deal one damage to either Twill Dumb or Twill D. Choose one in play. If no resolution was reached, uh, through this effect, remove all tokens from the scenario card, then flip this agenda back to its A side. Okay. Uh, we'll put one damage here. And uh, then this flips back. Okay. Uh, encounter card for this round is uh, Miss Deal. Test Agility 1. This test gets difficulty increased by 1 for every 2 card enemies in the encounter discard pile. Uh, if you fail, discard 2 cards from your hand at random. Then, if you have 2 or fewer cards in your hand, take 1 damage. We are testing 4 versus 1. Minus 4. Okay, we'll discard the uh, Lucky and Track Shoes. Oh, it's uh, at random, okay. Well, this, this isn't getting anywhere. Uh, actually, I could play Lucky here to succeed, because I was 3 up, so with Lucky I'll succeed, so I'll just play Lucky. Okay, and we get the Lone Wolf money, Underworld Market, Geese, uh, Fence and Hidden Pocket. I'll decide to not buy any of those this round. We need to get somewhere here, so I'm evading, and I'm evading... Um, I'm committing the track shoe, so 5 versus 3, minus 1, well, when you would succeed a skill test by exactly 1, you automatically fail, so this flips, we'll try to avoid it again, uh, 4 versus 3, minus 1, we succeed, so this is evaded, and uh, we don't have the resources to play the sneak attack, so I'll try to shoot again using the dirt. Oh yeah, this is a free action. So... Yeah. Uh, we are fighting 5 versus 3. Minus 1. This time we are successful and de defeat this guy. So, uh, when a card enemy is defeated, place one damage token on the scenario card from the token bank. So, finally, we managed to defeat something. So, I'll just put the damage tokens and horror tokens here. Last action. Uh, we'll just try to investigate uh, 3 versus 2 here. Uh, minus two, we fail by one, so we succeed with the help of Chesser Cat, and that flips. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw abandoned and alone. Take two direct horror and remove all cards in your discard pile from the game. So there goes those cards, and two direct horror. This, this game is not going that well, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, and we gain a resource. So, that is that round. 
Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. And counter card is Red Bishop. So, uh, 2 fight, 3 health, and 3 evade. Uh, each other chess enemy at that this location gains alert. Yeah, I think we can try to defeat this guy. But we'll see. Another dirty fighting and hidden pocket. So I'll pick up the dirty fighting. And we'll get the lone wolf. So first action will evade the red bishop. Plus one. So we have evaded it. Uh, yeah, we'll play sneak attack, deal two damage, and uh, we will do a fast dirty fighting with the automatic five versus two. Uh, minus two. And I succeed by exactly one, so this flips and it fails. And place one damage token and one horror token under the scenario reference card. We are out of bullets. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get our resource. That is our turn, so no enemy actions will go to upkeep. Jury reek. This ready is engages us again. We gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, and counter card is caught in the fray. Test uh, willpower or agility 5. For each point you pay by discard the top card of the encounter deck. If for each card enemy discarded, take one damage and lose one resource. For each chess enemy discarded, take one horror and discard a card from your hand at random. Uh, we are just testing uh, four, versus, uh, 4 versus 5. Minus 2, we fail by exactly 1, so the chess cat makes us succeed and flips. Okay, well, Underworld Market gives us a new weapon, we'll pick that. First action will evade. Oh yeah, we get the lone wolf money. We are evading four versus three. Minus two. We fail by exactly one. Doesn't help us. We'll try to evade again. Four versus three. Elder sign zero, so we succeed and we we'll try to dirty fight. I'm. Uh, I'll actually commit the dirty fighting. So fighting four versus two. Minus three. We fail. Okay, and uh, I'll grab a resource for next round for our last action. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. Is ready. We get stylish coach, gain a resource, and uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so this advances, so basically the same, so we'll put one damage, well, we have to now check, because there's damage and horror hit there, so if there are more damage tokens on the scenario card than horror tokens, and Twiddledum is in play, deal one damage to Twiddledum, so one damage goes there, and 
we get an encounter card. Nonsensical advice. Shuffle any amount of cards from your hand back into your deck and draw an equal amount of cards. For each card you did not shuffle back into your deck, lose one resource. Well, I'll lose one resource and not shuffle that. We need to get that weapon into play. And we draw two cards, disguise and manual dexterity. So those will help us. And this searches into Red Knight. Okay, so we have two enemies now. And the black market cards, we are not picking either. So there's the pickpocketing and hidden pockets. We'll gain the lone wolf resource. Oh yeah, and we lost one resource because we kept the weapon. So I'm fencing out the 25 automatic. And uh, we'll try to evade the Red Knight. And I'm using manual dexterity. We're evading six versus two. Minus four, we fail. Of course we do. Let's try again. 4 versus 4. No, I'm, I'm trying to evade the red bishop now. 4 versus 3. Let's go 5 versus 3. Minus 2, we succeed and we will dirty fight using the 25 automatic. 5 versus 2. And this is fast, so we don't lose an action. Minus one. Finally, we defeat it. We put one horror token here. Last action, we'll try to evade um, the red knight. Skull is a minus three. We fail. So this guy hits us for one damage and one horror. Upkeep, we draw paranoia, lose all of our resources. Well, we didn't have any, so that's okay. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a do. And counter card for this round is the lion and the unicorn. So search, uh, put the lion and the unicorn into play next to the agenda deck after an enemy is defeated or discarded. Each investigator must take one damage or one horror. Discard the lion and unicorn. So that is also an enemy. So for us to advance, this needs to go away, but it will as soon as we manage to defeat something. And uh, it searches, so we get a threatened position. Put threatened position into play in your threat area. While there is a chess enemy at your location, you get minus two to all skills during skill tests except during fight or evade attacks. And double action discard threatened position. Well, uh, we are evading and trying to fight this guy, so let's first see what we get. So I'm actually picking the hidden pocket so just so we get one uh, agility icon to commit. And we get the lone wolf money and I'm evading 5 versus 4 minus 2 we fail 5 versus 4 I mean 4 versus 4 now minus 2 we fail and uh, last try. 
over 4. It is a elder thing, so place one damage token here. That's that's not good. And that is our whole turn. Nothing was done. This guy hits us. We lose our resource because that guy hits us for one damage and one horror. We are actually one horror away from being defeated, so this seems to be a short game then. So. That is sometimes Arkham. Wheel already up. We draw a card. Pedro Silvestre. And gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is another enemy red rook. So we are pulling too many enemies here all the time. Okay. Uh, black market cards. Just pick one of the big pockets, so we have something to commit. We get the lone wolf money. And uh, let's uh, evade. evade the red knight, committing this. Five versus... Five versus four. And it is a skull. Minus three. Try again. Five versus four. Oh, I mean four versus four now. Minus four. No luck. And last attempt before we get defeated. So four versus four. Plus one. And we fail because of the chess artifact. Okay, this guy hits us for one damage and one horror, and we are defeated by horror. So that is the scenario. Okay, well, that was the fast one. So I'll read the resolution. Uh, if If no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. The investigators are completely overwhelmed by the chaotic fighting read resolution 1. The battle has escalated to war. You are barely able to drag yourself out of the valley as the armies are at all stampede down the slopes to clash between. You pause a short distance away to recover and scarcely, scarcely a minute passes before the din of the battle ceases abruptly. You hesitantly and painfully make your way back to the edge of the ba ba basin, only to find that the cards and chess pieces have departed. Lying crumpled, uh, crumpled in the center of the valley are the corpses of Tweedledum and Tweedledee, hands at each other's throats. You swallow grimly and try to recover the rattled pieces from their bodies, but you find them battered beyond recognition. An unfortunate setback, but on one of you will have to live with. In your campalog record, that the Tweedles perished in the bloody battle. Uh, we didn't get any experience. And then we continue to the interlude Humpty Dumpty. So again, uh, I'll read the interlude between the games and off camera. But yeah, that went really badly. But it is what it is. So, uh, well, in... In either way, hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.